All over Ireland and Britain are many traces of our ancient ancestors. Stone Age tools, weapons, jewellery and more. But one of the most impressive remnants are the amazing Stone Age tombs which can be found all over the land and date back before even the Egyptians had made the ancient pyramids. But what are these mysterious structures? What were they used for? And how on earth did they build them? Let's find out. Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about Stone Age tombs. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. There are over 35,000 stone tombs across Europe, which date back to the Neolithic time, the New Stone Age, and some in the Copper Age. For those of you who don't know, tombs were stone monuments or passages underground, often used as burial grounds for the dead. There are four main types of tombs. Court tombs, passage tombs, wedge tombs, and portal tombs. Fun fact, did you know the word megalithic means massive stones? referring to the huge rocks that make these Stone Age tombs. I'm here today at Craig and Davetsky Court Tomb. Court tombs have these great big entrances which face the east. The reason they face the east is because the sun rises in the east and that beautiful sunshine hits the entrance of these very important spiritual tombs every morning. Through this teeny tiny entrance, which looks like it's been made for Hobbit, are rectangular chambers where the dead bodies would have been laid to rest. Over the top of these chambers would have been a stone roof, but unfortunately it's fallen apart over time. Court tombs can have as many as four chambers, but in this one there's only three. Let's go in and have a look inside. Stone Age people sometimes place dead bodies in tombs, but they also left the cremated remains of dead people inside the tombs. Cremated is just a fancy way of saying that they burnt the bodies. The ash and burnt bones were then placed inside the tomb. In Craig and Davesky tomb, the remains of over 21 cremated bodies were found. They also found some flint arrows and tools, and an incredible beaded necklace. Portal tombs or dolmens were tombs made from a giant capstone balanced on top of huge standing stones. Like most tombs, they were covered in a bunch of rocks and mud, leaving only the entrance uncovered. The entrance was the portal into the tomb where the dead remains would have been placed. It's not very common to still find all of the stones and earth that cover the portal tombs, but the huge standing rocks that make up the entrance to these portal tombs are still found in many parts of Ireland to this very day. West tombs are a little bit similar to portal tombs. They're kind of like a large stone box with a flat rock roof wedged on top. Thus the name Wedge Tombs. They would then have been covered by a Karen, a big bunch of rocks. Check out this creepy tree growing straight out of the tomb where the dead would have been laid to rest long ago. Spooky. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. <laughs> In my opinion, the most interesting out of all four tombs in Ireland has to be the Passage Tomb. Passage Tombs first appeared around 4600 BCE. They were complex structures built from stone with many chambers inside them. They were almost like man-made caves. One of the most impressive in the world is called Newgrange and it's found here, County Meath in Ireland. And so we've come to the end of our video about Stone Age tombs. A tomb is a stone monument or 
underground passage that was used as a place of burial for the dead. There are four types of Stone Age megalithic tombs. Court tombs, portal tombs, wedge tombs and passage tombs. Court tombs have a big entrance with two to four chambers inside. Covering this was a huge current of rocks and dirt. Twirl tombs or dolmens have a giant rock standing on huge standing stones for the entrance or portal and covering the portal was a huge cairn of rocks and dirt. Wedge tombs were like a stone box with big slabs of rock on top to form the roof. On top of this was then, yep, you guessed it, a cairn of rocks and dirt. Passage tombs were like man-made caves. They were complex tombs with a passageway to various chambers buried under a huge mound of stones and dirt. And so we've come to the end of our video about Stone Age megalithic tombs. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cool and interesting educational videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.